Good morning everyone, welcome back to my vlog channel. So today is the first day of the Paris vlogs. I just spilled my tea everywhere. It's currently like half past eight in the morning. I've literally just woke up, thrown on some clothes, and now I'm gonna head to the train station to catch the Eurostar. I don't know what to do with these glasses. We've just tried to get Billy tickets, and um, we said, well, we've got standing tickets. We wanted seated, but we could only get standing because all the seating, the good seats were like 180 pounds, and I would just sat there like, hmm, sis. I love Billy to death, but I actually would pay that. Like, that sounds so dumb. But the thought of actually paying it, I probably couldn't actually go it's through with her. my birthday when we're there. Then I need to just do a little once over and make sure I've got everything. <gasps> Nearly forgot my phone charge off. I'm sis, I am silly. Whew. Imagine if I left that, I would be fuming. But yeah, that's the situation. Sorry for this awful angle, by the way, but I'm just currently in a rush. I'm leaving later than I should be because obviously I wanted to try and get Billy ticket, which we did. We got standing tickets. Like, it's not that deep, but like, we wanted seating. So we're going to try and potentially get better seats when the general admission sale comes out and then just sell our standing tickets. I'm all dressed and ready to go. I'm just checking my room one side to make sure I've got everything. Then I'm going to leave. Right, let's go, girls. We've arrived! Yay! In Paris. In Paris. What are we doing now? Just going to the hotel. We're going, we're going to, the to the hotel. hotel. We're going to rest and revitalise and then. Yeah. And then we're heading out. Really fun. <laughs> the train journey was so quick. Like, I remember looking at my phone and being like, all oh, right, we've got like an hour left. And then literally we're here now. Fun experience on the Euro stuff for the first time. Do you want Yeah, I've never been on it before. I'm excited. Right, so we've just got to the hotel. It seems really, really nice. It's like really Parisian. You should see the lift. I'll show you on the way back down. I think this is my room. I can't read the handwriting on the thing, but it's written really like cursively and fancy. <laughs> That's not my room. Here we go. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so fancy. You are kidding. Oh my God. This is so fancy. As you can see, it says 212, but I read that as 219 for some reason and tried to get in the wrong room. So I thought I would kick it off by doing a little room tour. So as you walk in, this is what you see. This is a curtain like to cover the door, which is kind of fun. So maybe that's cool. Um, this is the bathroom. Very nice indeed. Oh, Clarins. Damn, she really is a fancy hotel when she has Clarins. Oh my God, they even have, oh, damn, says hi. This fun mirror. Oh my god, this hotel is so so nice. Like high five stars. Wow, fun little bathrobe. And then the toilet is actually over this side. Just a little toilet in there. And then this is the room. So as you can see, we have a TV, a nice sofa moment going off. A big ass bed just for little on me. And then we have a little wardrobe section. <gasps> oh my god, another robe and some slippers. <laughs> I just realized though, I've actually um not brought any like adapter plugs for the chargers. So like to plug my phone into the wall, I can't because like the charging thing's different. So I need to buy one of those whilst I'm out at some point today, but I don't know if we're gonna have time. We literally shoot it the entire day, like non-stop. If you didn't watch my last vlog, I'm coming, I've come to Paris, should I say, with Gap and the app into. So it's like a branded trip. My first ever brand trip, actually. So I'm really excited. We literally shoot in all day long, every single day until Saturday. So I don't know if I'm gonna have time to go get an adapter for my charger, which is really annoying because I have like 16 million back at home. But I just completely forgot. I literally got in the Uber just now to get to the hotel and I started speaking English to the driver and he just looked at me to be like, Wee oui, wee, oui. huh? I mean, I'm just not that prepared if I'm being completely honest. So I'm gonna have to buy a charger. They don't even have, oh they do, they have one USB port there so I can plug my phone in right now, but I'm gonna have to get a charger. Just when I thought I was winning with the new iPhone, it's not a USB to whatever the thing is. So this is the end of the iPhone plug that most definitely does not fit in there. Damn, I'm dumb. I'm really am dumb. I need to get one of those ASAP. This is the only annoying thing about this room. This is the only full length mirror. Of course you have these mirrors here, but I can't really stand here and like look at my outfit. So this is the full length mirror I'm working with, but this is my outfit for day one of Paris. I traveled obviously in this jumper because I thought we didn't have time to come back to the hotel. Of course, I now looking back on it, that's so dumb. Of course, like they made time to come back to the hotel because we all had luggage, but I thought we were going straight out. So I have these black trousers on, which are from Gap. In fact, the entire outfit's from Gap. That's why I'm here, but it's really, really cool. I actually really like it. A little day in Paris, very fun. I've also got Got some glasses let me show you i've also got these glasses which aren't actually from gap these are from asos but yeah this is the first 
first look, I think we're going to some cute cafes. We're going to the Louvre, 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 Louvre. I don't know how to pronounce it, but we're going to a bunch of cool places today. It's a bunch of like more cutesy places, so it's very like clean cut white aesthetic. I did my research, but this is the current outfit. I'm starving. Like we're going to a cafe to do a brief. I'm actually going to have to get some food because I'm literally so, so hungry. We've got a dinner tonight, but I need to fuel up before we take photos. So that's the current situation. Also, just being informed that Emma Chamberlain and the Dolan twins are also in Paris. So catch me becoming Dolan triplet. Dolan triplets with this new jaw. Hi, how are ya? Also just remembered I need to ask downstairs about a plug. So I'm gonna go down actually, ask about that and then head off. We've got to meet in five minutes. So I'm just gonna head down a little bit earlier to ask about the plug and see if they've got anything there. If not, I'm just gonna have to pick something up on my way out or when I'm out. Look how cute the lift is. Very fun. I feel like everyone can hear me. Ooh. Hi, wee oui, wee. Oui. Patty. So, it's now a few days later. I'm back from the trip now. As you can see, still repping up, but I have a little story time that I want to include just as we're getting to this restaurant. So, as I said in the beginning of the vlog, or like literally like five seconds ago, Emma Chamberlain and the Dolan twins were all in Paris at the same time as me. And I jokingly said, I might become a Dolan triplet. Well, after filming that clip, we headed to a restaurant called De Flore or something like that. I'm not sure it were a French word. Can't really, um pronounce it but we went to this really fancy restaurant it's really like an instagram restaurant like a real hot spot for like cute cafe very parisian very cute very fun so we were going to do some photos outside there and also do a briefing and eat in the restaurant we ended up basically getting three ubers to the cafe because there were literally so many of us and my uber were the first one to arrive at the cafe so we were stood outside which is where i filmed the last clip and i'm stood there just minding my own business looking around like looking at all the people sat outside the cafe looking if the food looks nice to my surprise um yeah grace and Dolan literally was sat at this cafe that I'm about to sit at myself. He was sat there with this girl. I didn't want to go over and be like, oh my God, hi. Like I, when he were eating, I just thought the timing was not right. I was really hoping we were going to get up and walk past me or we were going to get up from our tables at the same time. I don't know. I just really wanted to be in that environment, but in a different situation, you know, I would have actually said hi. I don't think I would have asked for a photo because I don't think I have that in me. But I definitely would have been like, oh my God, hi. But obviously when he sat at a meal with a girl, I was like, I don't want to go over and interrupt for one. And also that's just not my vibe. He got up and left just as we were paying for the food. So we literally went outside and sat in the seat that he was sat at and used his coffee cup as a prop in some of the photos because some of the girls that we were with wanted to get photos out there. I didn't actually get photos there. But long story short, Grace and Dolan were sat at the same restaurant literally 10 seconds after I said, maybe I'll see the Dolan twins. I literally think I manifested that entire thing and then we used his coffee cup as a prop. Like I should have gathered the saliva off the coffee cup and sold that shit on eBay. Anyway, back to the vlog. I look like an egg. Right, I'm the worst at pronouncing any of these places. Where have we just been? The... So we've just been at the Louvre. The Louvre. Taking some pictures. Very and we're fun. On the way to Palais Royale. Just some big silver balls, basically. I don't know. <laughs> that is the place with the big silver balls. Right? The big, the big That's where we go. Balls. The big silver balls. Right, we're just gonna head there. It's also pretty though. Really warm in the sun, but then when you're not in the sunlight, it's so chilly. So, getting some fried ice, all that fun stuff. All right, so I'm all dressed and ready to go out now, as you can see. I've got this leather shirt on from weekday, the Gap trousers that I've had on all day, and then some Balenciaga shoes. I'm literally just going to go out like this, but I'm not actually taking a bag. In fact, I am taking a bag, but that tiny one over there, so I'm not going to take my camera. So I'm going to vlog the rest of the evening or what we do on my phone. I'm excited for food. I'm kind of hungry, so I'm excited to go, but I need to meet everyone downstairs, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave my camera here, though, so I'll chat to you on my phone. Bye! Hi everyone, so I'm back from the meal now. I didn't really film much because basically we went to this really, really fancy place and obviously today is the first day of actually meeting everyone that I'm gonna be on the trip with. It would be really, really nice just to sit and like, I just washed my face, which is why my face is like really red and discolored, especially like this region. It would be really, really nice to sit in like an environment that's not like on shoot and like shooting photos and stuff to talk to the photographers and like the rest of the people on the trip. It's really, really cool. Everyone's really, really nice actually. That's one thing I were nervous about. Not the fact that people was like, wasn't gonna be nice, but like obviously 
say I've never met any of these people before, I was just really like hesitant to be like, oh my god, am I gonna like get along with these people? Am I gonna be nervous? Am I gonna be awkward? And everyone's really nice, so that's a positive. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I don't know if it's like long enough to be a full vlog on its own, however, if not, I'm gonna include tomorrow's footage as well. But Paris is really, really beautiful. If you haven't or aren't following me on Instagram, I've made like a really pretty Instagram story which I'll insert at the end of this video. But I've just been loving doing like little bits on Instagram, which has kind of made my vlog slack a little bit, so I probably should sort that out. Hi everyone. Bye. Uh... Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my vlog channel. So it is really early in the morning right now because obviously Paris is an hour in front, which is it's only an hour, but like I'm not used to getting up at like seven and eight o'clock in the morning. So that's really fun for me. I'm gonna head down for breakfast now. I've got like 20 minutes to have breakfast, come back up to my room, get sorted, and then get ready for the day. But I I'm shattered, so hopefully this coffee down there because I need to wake up. Let's go for breakfast. I don't even know where breakfast is, but let's go. Right, we've come into the Gap store now, as you can see. I'm literally wearing all Gap, but they have different stock in this store to what they have in London. So I've picked up a few more things. I'm going to try some stuff on. Basically, we're shooting a really cool tennis court today, and it's really, really colourful. So Yasmin, who we with, said, why don't you wear an all-white outfit? Obviously, I didn't have one, and I found all-white. So I'm going to try this stuff on, and also, look how cosy this is. I need a jacket. I've not really bought any, like, jacket jackets. I've got hoodies, and then, like, the corduroy jackets, but I have nothing like, that's, like, an in-between version, because it's cold, but, like, it's also not, like, big coat weather cold so I'm gonna try this bits on and also I'm gonna get my denim jacket customized and like embroidered and stuff so I brought that with me as well but yes I'm really excited for a die also this hat is also from Gap cute little red moment right so obviously we're in the Gap store and I'm about to get my denim jacket customized so I'm just looking at the fonts that you can choose I think I'm gonna go for this I think I'm gonna have my actual name on the back of the jacket in this font I think this is kind of fun I've literally been trying to decide this for the past like half an hour so I'm just making it a lot more complicated than it needs to be but there's also a bunch of patches as well so I'm thinking do I go for a patch or do I just play it simple I think we're just gonna go with 05 where is it I think we're just gonna go for this so we just got back in the car, we literally just been to Gap. My jacket's actually getting customised as we speak, we just need to go back and pick it up later on. I've done a bit of shopping, here we are in the car, looking fancy. We're gonna go back to the hotel now, quickly change outfits. We're changing before, are we changing after lunch or before lunch? I just don't know what the hell's going on. So basically we're going back to the hotel, dropping the bags. I feel like you should be my scribe. And Everything I say you were. Yeah, that'd be fun. And then we're gonna go for lunch, go back, get changed, and then go and shoot more stuff. I got some really cool things today actually. I think these are the favorite my favourite things that I've actually got and I wish I got them in London. I'm really excited, it's all going well. There's some really cool photos being took as well actually today. I've got a scarf and a beanie at the ready, so I'm ready for changing to that. So the traffic on the way here were really bad, so we got out and walked through the streets, but it was so, so nice walking through. Here he is. <laughs> Fabulous. Right, what, what's this cafe called? Oh, it's there. <laughs> I feel like, what's this cafe called? This looks so, so cool. I look disgusting with this beanie on. Right, so we've just finished up having lunch. We're now shooting on this really pretty street. Look at this. This reminds me of like the little thing from Beauty and the Beast where they pop out the windows and like, bonjour, bonjour. So yeah, that's the situation. Some photos happening here. Some photos happening here. Fanzies. So I am honestly probably the dumbest person I have ever met in my entire life. Like, I honestly don't know how I get through everyday life without something going wrong. But here we are. Hi, my name is Byron and I formatted my SD card. <laughs> So, the last clip you will have just seen is a clip of me at a fancy ass, bougie ass, don't even know what the hell it was, place. After that we walked through the streets of Paris, all the way back to the hotel, it was like a half an hour walk. I didn't actually film anything, so we got back from that. And then we had to get dressed ready and go out and shoot more photos. We went to a really cool tennis court, we went by the Moulin Rouge, we went up to the top of, oh my god I can't remember what it's called, basically to the top of this view where you could see the entirety of Paris. I'll insert some footage that I filmed on my phone. <laughs> How beautiful! How beautiful indeed, Jeremy Carl's over there. Looking fabulous. Oh my god. <laughs> oh bloody hell! 
However, when we were back at the hotel getting changed, I thought it would be a wise idea to import the footage so far that I had on my camera just because I had some sort of inkling that I'd either lose my camera, something would go wrong and basically end up me having no footage left of Paris. So, I imported this far into the vlog onto my laptop and left it there. The following day happens, I vlog the following day. It's literally the Friday, we're leaving on the Saturday. We decide in the evening of the Friday to actually go out and go to a club. Now, at some point of me leaving the restaurant from dinner and actually getting to the club, or should I say getting back from the club, formatted my SD card. And I don't know why, or how, or when, but at some point during that time of me being drunk, I formatted my SD card. So I've lost the last day of Paris, basically. The last day that I actually filmed, because then the day after, I was really hungover. Didn't film anything, we literally woke up on the final day. We had to check out at 12, and then we had to leave by like half two. So we literally went out for brunch, grabbed some food, went back to the hotel, had a little wander around the streets of Paris, and then got back on the Eurostar home. However, <laughs> We went to some fancy places and obviously I've got no footage from it because I formatted my stupid SD card. I've only got stuff that I filmed on my phone. So what I'm going to do is insert the videos I made for Instagram off my phone. I'm going to put these at the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog so far. I do apologise. I'm dumb and I should probably never drink again. I'm going to get back on my shit when it comes to vlogging. I think the trip to Paris really just motivated me want to vlog more. Even though I didn't really vlog much this trip. But it just made me want to create and create as much as I can. And also just do more spontaneous things and stuff that puts me more out of my comfort zone. Like I said before going on this trip, if you watched the last vlog, I was really, really nervous and I left feeling so motivated, so inspired and just really, really creative. So I definitely want to do more of that. But that being said, I'm a damn bitch. I'm not going to say thank you individually because like, I'm going to say the same exact thing to every single person. So it'd just be me repeating myself like eight times. But thank you so much to everyone on the trip. It was so much fun. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Everyone was so, so nice. Super cool people. I really want to stay in contact with absolutely everyone. So if anyone's watching this, I doubt they are. But like, if you're watching this, please can we stay friends? Because like, it was kind of fun and I want to do it again. So if anyone wants to do a little spontaneous trip to Paris or something like that anytime soon, into and gap part two maybe somewhere else let's go somewhere warm this time anyway i'm gonna end this vlog here i hope you enjoyed and i'll chat to you soon with a brand new one bye i always say bye really weird at the end of my vlogs i don't know why i've got into the habit of doing that i started doing it as a joke and now it's like stuck so bye whores <laughs> Demande tous les jours et ça me fait quelque chose.